Expert Course B1P40E. Wrap and Unwrap a Curve. Orienting Cross Sections. This last expert course shows further possibilities for creating, controlling, and orienting curves in 3D space. A simple compression spring with a rectangular wire cross section and applied end serves as an exercise part, because it already shows typical problems that also have to be solved in the modeling of screw conveyors, milling cutters, or turbine blades. How can a cross section be oriented along the guide? Helixes from wrapped curves. With the wrap slash unwrap curve command, sketches and curves can be wrapped onto a cylindrical or conical surface. Helixes could also be created in this way. In the first, simple example, a draft line is to be used to create a turn of a helix. The cylinder has a diameter of 50. A tangential reference plane is created on the mantle surface, and on this a sketch with a draft line. This line is 50 times pi in the x direction, and should have a pitch of 20 millimeters. With the command wrap slash unwrap curve the curve is wrapped onto a cylindrical face. Select the curve, then the mantle surface, and finally the plane. The plane must lie tangentially on the mantle surface. That's it. In this way, pitch angles could also be taken into account in the sketch. or the sketch is completed in another way. Everything is then wrapped. For example, with three turns, the lengths are simply multiplied by the number of turns. Then the length is 50 asterisk pi asterisk 3. And the pitch is 20 times 3. The main thing is that the cylinder is long enough to wrap. The principle should now be clear, and the course can begin. Start course. Create expressions. D equals 30. Pitch equals 10. Turns equals 3. Attention, unitless. Width equal 8. Thickness equals 4. The cylinder for wrapping is created with the command revolve in order to be able to extend it upwards and downwards. A simple line. with the distance d from the center is sufficient. Which is extended downwards by a pitch relative to the x-axis.
and upwards has a length relative to the x-axis of pitch times turns. Again, plus one, so also extended upwards by one pitch. This way the cylinder is long enough to wrap the curve. The cylinder should not be created as a solid, because this would later falsify a weight calculation. Therefore, only a surface is created. Under settings for body type, select sheet. This completes the cylinder. Sketch guide. Now create the tangent datum plane. In principle, a click on the cylindrical face would be enough, but such planes are not change stable. Therefore, additionally select a plane of the reference coordinate system and enter the angle. The plane normal is oriented outwards. The sketch is now placed on this plane. Create the three lines. The first and last lines are for the applied coils, the middle one for the springy coils. The first line starts below the x-axis and has a flat course. The middle line is for the springy coils and has a steeper course, followed by another flatter line. The first and last lines are identical. Therefore, create the relation make equal and parallel between these two lines. Dimension the first and middle line, as well as the starting point in Y, and accept the displayed values. Select all dimensions, and then select add slash remove expression in the context menu. Now the formulas can be added. The spring should rest on one and a quarter coils and then have three springy coils. The lines are dimensioned accordingly. The first line has a length in X of d asterisk pi asterisk 1.25 and a height in y of thickness asterisk 1.25 In order for the spring to stand securely, the end faces should be flat over a three-quarters turn. Position the starting point accordingly. This is therefore thickness times 0.75 below the x-axis. The middle line has a length in x of. D asterisk pi asterisk turns and a height in YF. Pitch asterisk turns.
The kinks are rounded with a radius of R100. Unfortunately, the relation make equal is lost and must be renewed. This completes the sketch, which is wrapped onto the cylinder in the next step. Wrap curve. Start the wrap slash unwrap curve command and select the wrap option at the top. Then select the sketch. The cylindrical surface as the surface. And in the last step the plane on which the sketch lies. And with that the helix with different pitches is ready. Sketch cross section. A tube could already be running along this helix. But a rectangular cross section is to be guided along. Similar to the splint course, a sketch must be created on the path. And it must be at the end of the path. Sketch a rectangle with the width and thickness expressions. The corners are rounded with R0.5. Another test. This creates the cross section and the guide. But if the spring was created with the command sweep along guide, the result would only have artistic quality. The reason is to be found in the helix. The pitch of the helix always creates a twist in itself. With every cable, the ends twist when they are wound up. This is an annoying effect that is also familiar from winding garden hoses or extension cables. Unfortunately, the cross section also follows this twist, because the command sweep along guide does not offer the possibility of an additional alignment. Therefore, undo the last work step and start the swept command, as this offers the required setting. Select the cross section again. And the guide. Select the vector direction under orientation 
and select the center axis of the spring as the vector. Now the cross section remains aligned to the center axis. The section location is at the end of the guides. With the option Preserve Shape you can additionally set whether the division of the sketch is taken over for the generated surfaces or not. Depending on the settings of the tolerances, the warning that the body is cutting itself is displayed in the part navigator. The reason is the adjacent windings. Then change the height in the cross-section sketch to thickness minus 0.02 and the turns will no longer touch. Trim ends. Finally, the ends need to be trimmed. At the bottom you can simply trim the end with the plane of the reference coordinate system. At the top, the plane must be slightly above the end of the helix. To be precise, one quarter of the thickness higher. Start the datum plane command and select XC plane of the datum coordinate system. And the end point of the helix. Thus the plane is parallel to the selected plane and runs through the end point. To create the required offset, activate the option offset and enter 0.25 asterisk thickness as the distance. Trim the spring with this plane. The spring is ready, which can now also be changed comfortably via the expressions. Conclusion It is often surprising what complex geometry is hidden in seemingly simple objects. But NX offers a wealth of possibilities to create technical surfaces that follow any kind of rule. Mathematical curves such as sine curves, involutes and cycloids can also be created. We are at your disposal for special problems. Of course, in addition to technical surfaces, design surfaces can also be created. Whether it is a washing up liquid bottle, a fountain pen or car body surfaces. But the designer is not free in his work. Rather he has to comply with an abundance of rules in order to optimally combine design and technical requirements. Thus, this course represents the transition between a basic course and a freeform surface course.